What's up y'all? I'm out here at the range on a nice sunny day doing a bunch of testing out here and this one we get ready to work on is one that's probably going to be debated until the end of time and that's 9mm versus 40 Smith & Wesson. So of course we got the jelly contraption on standby. We got the chrono set up. I got two blocks of gel. Now I've done one test in this gel already and it's a 22 Magnum test. If y'all hadn't seen that I'll leave a link up above so you can check that one out. But like I said on the menu for this one is some 9mm and 40 Smith Smith & Wesson and it's of the HST variety. I figured if we was going to do a side by side on these two we might as well go with the cream of the crop with the HST. So in the 40 Smith & Wesson we got the federal premium. Now this is the law enforcement tactical HST so if you think there's a difference between the law enforcement tactical and the regular then, then take that for what it's worth but this is the 40 Smith & Wesson 180 grain HST tactical law enforcement branded. So that's our 40 Smith & Wesson round. And then for the 9 mil we got the federal premium personal defense HST in 124 grain so same round just different caliber like I said I have seen some people claim that there's a difference between these uh, law enforcement branded tactical HSTs and the regular defense HST I don't know that to be a fact though so we'll see what happens between them in the jail anyway now as for the tools we're running out here for the 40 Smith & Wesson I'm using the Glock 22 this has got just a hair under a four and a half inch barrel and then for the nine millimeter I'm using my P80 with just a hair over a four and a quarter inch barrel so you got just under a quarter inch barrel length difference between them that's the closest i could get from what i had to choose from so we're gonna work with that but either way this should be a pretty good one so let me get this stuff set up and let's check this out all right y'all let's get us some speeds on these things i'm gonna do a three round average on each round we're gonna start out with the nine millimeter first we got what is that 1138 11.28 and 11.14 so not too shabby let's check that average out all right so the three round average on the nine millimeter hst was 1126 feet per second let me get this reset and let's check out those 40s all right y'all let's check out the 40s three rounds of these also got 9.76 9.98 And 995, so not too bad for 180 grains. Let's check that average out. All right, so the three round average for the 40 Smith & Wesson HST was 989 feet per second. And if you remember those nine millimeters, it was 1126 feet per second. So you're talking about 137 feet per second faster from that nine millimeter. Now, granted, you're also talking about a lighter projectile from that nine millimeter. So should be interesting to see what happens in the jail. Let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's no matter what, HST's a winner, jelly time. I'm gonna put one round into the gel from each of them, and we'll do the nine millimeter first. I'm gonna try to, ah, uh, I'm not sure. I can't really tell where that 22 round is, but let's see what we can do, y'all. All right, that was a little bit lower than I wanted, but let's go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, that's looking good down there. Of course, it's a HST. You don't expect anything less than nice performance out of them. So let's try this 40 now. I'm gonna try to go up above the nine millimeter with this 40. All right, I think that's a perfect shot right there. Let's go down there and check these things out. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. So on the bottom right here, that's our nine millimeter. Up here on the top, that's our 40 Smith & Wesson. So as you can see, both of them perform fantastic. I mean, I think that was a no-brainer. These HSTs, I'm pretty positive that I have not tested a bad HST caliber of any kind in any of my tests. So they come in as usual, fantastic wound action, fantastic disruption going on. That's because they get incredible expansion here. Uh, and the penetration is fantastic it's out here both of them i mean they may be within an eighth of an inch of each other they're nearly exactly the same on penetration looks like right at 15 inches but just all around fantastic performance out of both of these rounds now as far as penetration on them the nine millimeter down there is at 14 and three quarters inches of penetration 
the 40 Smith and Wesson up here up top is at 14 and call it five eighths of penetration just about an eighth of an inch shorter than that nine millimeter a quick little overhead look up top that's that 40 smith and wesson just incredible incredible disruption there and you can see that uh expansion already i mean these hsts are just second to none down at the bottom that's the nine millimeter one just fantastic performance out of both of these all right, y'all, let's take a look at these projectiles. I think it's pretty apparent which is which. Over here is the 40 Smith & Wesson. Over here is the 9mm. Again, both of these rounds performed absolutely fantastic. You can't ask for anything more out of either one of these rounds. Terrific expansion on them. It looks like they compelled every single bit of their mass, didn't shed anything in the gel. Just beautiful, beautiful expansion on these HSTs like there always is. Now, let's get us some measurements on these things. I don't think it lost in the material but we'll make sure here so the nine millimeter started at 124 and it's at 124.1 so absolutely no loss on that the 40 started at 180 and it's at exactly 180 point six so no loss no kind of material loss from either one of these projectiles now as far as expansion size this is obviously where you're going to see a difference number one because the 40 started out bigger but as for this nine millimeter we got 659 650 and 642 so some fantastic expansion on that nine millimeter and then on the 40 you got 756 730 and 743 so just a monster of a round in that 40 Smith and Wesson there. All right, y'all, there you have it, the nine millimeter versus 40 Smith and Wesson in HSTs. Um, I think it goes without saying that ballistically, the 40 Smith and Wesson is definitely superior. You got more foot pounds of energy. You've got a bigger projectile carrying more foot pounds of energy into the target. Uh, just, just overall, ballistically, the 40 Smith and Wesson is a better round in this case. Now, as far as the benefits of the nine over 40, I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole as far as size and weight and uh, recoil and handling and all that jazz um, just on ballistics alone it, it's clearly plain to see here that the 40 smith and wesson is the winner on this one all right, y'all, we're calling it right there for the 9mm versus 40 Smith & Wesson. These caliber versus caliber tests are always pretty interesting. I'm always interested to see what people have to say down in the comments. I can tell you right now, the clear winner out here was the HST round. Those things are just second to none when it comes to personal defense round. Just absolutely fantastic performance in every single caliber I've tried them in. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about this one down in the comments. Let me know who your winner on this test was and give me some reasons why you think one of them might be better than the other if you did enjoy the video reach down and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that bell notification icon to get notified when i upload new stuff take a second check out my affiliate links down below in the video description if you shop through amazon hit that amazon link up first you go straight through their site like normal and anything you buy anywhere on amazon after that i get a kickback from them towards the channel if you're in the market for some fantastic ear pro hit up those actual affiliate links you can save a lot of money on those links instead of going straight through their site as always i appreciate Appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there that supports the channel by watching these videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and leave me some comments down below let me know what you think about the nine millimeter and the 40 in hst i got tons more good stuff coming down the line so make sure y'all stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon